against Germany. I'm Peter Drury and it's my chance to say that it is an absolute delight to have Jim Beglin beside me. Hi Peter, it's great to be here. Supporters on all four sides rise for the national anthems. So off we go then. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Mesut Ozil can add the decisive edge, I would think. His close control and ability to slip the runners through is a, is a real feature of his game. Not to mention his dribbling skills and that superb left foot of his. Yes, they'll certainly be leaning heavily on him. Well, that's not the cross he had in mind. Balls out on the left now. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what are they trying to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Mesut Ozil tries to dink it in, tried to play it through. Yeah, and the vision to get him through was all good, but the execution of the pass wasn't quite right. But importantly, he's holding his line until the very last moment, and that will pay off. Tony Kroos. Well, we don't even need to look at the stats, do we, Peter? Zero attempts, zero goals, and uh, excitement, forget it. Cesc Fabregas. Morata. Katira. Draxler. And it's Ozil. Kadira. Aimed long and direct. Now it's Nolito. Hervez. Now it's Mario Gomez. Mario Gomez, proving impossible to wrestle off the ball. Tony Kroos plays a clever pass. Now the cross. You can get that clear. There's the whistle for half-time. Any opinion you'd like to express on the first half? Well, the manager's surely got to look for one or two creative changes now. They need some service up front. An intriguing half, lacking only in goals. The score, nil-nil. Spain can be very glad that half-time came when it did. Poor possession and very little firepower means they need a serious pickup in this second half. No guts, no glory. <laughs> Iniesta. And it's Morata. Sergio Busquets. Morata. Silva. Good run. Ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. Done very well to intervene. Jordi Alba. Sergio Ramos. Jordi Alba. That'll be a throw. It's a long forward pass. Now it's Nolito. Nolito! Well, the referee has bought that. I'm not sure I have. Draw your own conclusions. I've drawn mine. Spain has been awarded a penalty. Well, the protest continues, but in the end, they are defending the indefensible. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then.
out. Oh, dispatched with certainty. Well, that was a big pressure kick, and he didn't let his team down. He took that so calmly. Spain take the lead. Well, when the going gets tough, etc., um, they can still turn this round, I think. Muller tries the route one option. Cesc Fabregas. So, Jim, what are you thinking? There's a lot of football still to be played, Peter, so ideally they need to maintain a, an attacking endeavour. Mats Hummels. Tony Kroos. Lolito, who's steaming forward. That's gone a long way up and away. Somewhat looks like he's in need of protection here. Yeah, and what? Mario Goetze with a definite fell there. There could be trouble here. And for now, the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. Oh, and that should have been two. Yeah, he knew only too well that to concede then would have been tough to recover from. That could prove a big moment in this game. Chip through. Muller. Katira with the ball through. Podolski tore at them and just came up short. Spain need to hold on for a few more moments. Who's going to make this theirs? And it's Hervides. Tries to dink it in. Podolski. There's no flag. Sergio. And that will be the final act. Terrific contest.